Dropped out of college and got a job as a bike courier. Mostly just to piss off my parents. I was someone you'd never notice. Just a guy delivering packages to folks you'd never know. And then one day, the package found me. Thousands died. Five square blocks smashed into rubble. And at the center was me. Alive, but changed. But no one could have seen what was coming. Back then, Empire City was in quarantine. It had gone to hell. Other people with power started showing up, and it was my job to sort through it all, find out who had given me that package and why. Hell, even my best friend turned his back on me to try to get powers of his own. But in the end, I found the man responsible, Kessler. He explained everything through a vision of the future. A beast is coming. A monster only I can defeat, provided that I am strong and ready to face him. A month later, I met Lucy Quo. She somehow knew all about the beast. In fact, she had come to help me prepare. Claimed her friend Dr. Wolf had worked on the race fear prototype and that he could amplify my powers. All I had to do was go with her down to Numeray. I need those powers. The beast is coming. And I will be ready. Man, I tell you, Cole. That Agent Quo, she doesn't mess around, huh? First bullet out of town? Chick's got some connections. This is gonna be a short-term visit, man. We're just gonna get in, I'm gonna get some new powers, and then we're gonna come right back. Come on, man, you deserve to relax. We're going to New Marais. Hey, I need to be back here and ready when it shows up, Zeke. Trust me, Cole, you will be ready when you're done working with Dr. Wolf. Work? <laughs> Easy, Quo. When we get there, we're gonna be about the three Bs. That's beer, mm -hmm. boobs, and mechanical bolts. Gentlemen, I don't think that you understand the scope of what is going on here. What is going on? 